Marlo Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you another DIY using the wood plaques that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I thought it would be fun to kind of do a series on these showing you just how easy it is to actually decorate these. There are so many ways around decorating these wood plaques that you DIY yourself even if you don't feel like you're artistically inclined. And so that's what I'm gonna be bringing to you, some stinking adorable ideas on how you can use these. I can't wait to show you what I do with the trees today, so let's not waste any more time and let's jump into it. Alrighty, getting started with this DIY, I'll be using two of the raw wood Christmas trees that the Dollar Tree is carrying. A lot of the Dollar Trees in my area are out of stock when it comes to these wood plaques. I even looked online and on DollarTree.com, they're also out of stock. So hopefully they're going to be getting more of these in. Using a ruler and a pencil, I'm going to find the center of one of the trees and just make a line with my pencil. On the back side of my tree, I'm going to place some tape. I'm using painter's tape. You can use whatever tape you'd like. This is just to keep it in place on my cutting mat. I'm also going to put a bit of tape on the back side of my ruler so when I place my ruler down on my tree, it doesn't slip as well. Using a straight edge razor and my ruler as a guide, I'm going to score this Christmas tree along the pencil line that I made and I'm going to do this several times. This wood isn't very thick and so just by simply scoring it with a razor, you can cut through this wood pretty easily. After I've scored it a few times if I just put a bit of pressure on my ruler and lift up on one side of the tree it's going to break apart pretty cleanly and because it's got a couple splinters I'm going to run just a piece of sandpaper over the edge here just to smooth it out a bit today I'll be using some of apple barrels march green I am loving this green it's kind of a foresty muted green and so I like those muted colors that aren't real bright. I think that it kind of gives that country rustic feel and that's kind of what I'm going for with this DIY. Because I'm not quite sure exactly where I'm going with this DIY, I've got the vision in my head and so this really is the first run that I'm doing with this DIY. I'm going to start off by painting the edges of my plaque because there's nothing worse than doing a DIY and then you realize that the edges of your plaque aren't painted and then you got to go back in and do it. So I'm just going to do that straight off and I'm going to do that on all three of my plaques. And of course, once the paint is dry, I'm going to go in with some Mod Podge and I'm going to give the front of all of these plaques a real nice coating of Mod Podge because I will be using this seasonal green plaid fabric that I got from Walmart to cover the front and the back side of all three of these trees. Now, using one fat quarter should be enough. You're just gonna kinda have to lay out your trees and really get the most out of your fabric. I will tell you that on one of the trees, I did have to do a bit of patchwork and use some scraps at the bottom of my tree. I was just real careful to line up the pattern so you couldn't tell because I really wanted to stick with just the one fat quarter and you can do that covering all three of these pieces front and back side. I will most definitely say that this year my Christmas DIY theme is definitely that quilted country Christmas because I feel like that just screams Christmas. So once I placed the front side of these trees, the first side face down onto the fabric, I did go in and cut off the extra fabric as close as I could to the trees because again, we're gonna need this other fabric to cover this other side of these trees. I'm gonna put a second coat of Mod Podge over the top of the fabric because one, this is gonna adhere it better onto the wood plaque itself, and two, it's gonna harden the fabric so when we go to cut the extra fabric off, once the trees are dry, it's gonna give you a nice clean cut. I'm gonna place these in the oven once I've got this second coat of Mod Podge on for about 20 minutes at 135 degrees because that's as low as my oven goes. 
and it's really gonna speed up the drawing process and allow me to move on with this DIY a bit quicker than normal. I am so sorry I need to apologize now because I don't know what happened to the footage of me actually cutting off the excess fabric and showing that both sides of all three of these pieces were covered with this green plaid fabric. I really don't know if I just forgot to press record or if the footage got deleted, but moving on, all three of the pieces of trees, the two halves and this whole tree are covered with this fabric on the front and the back side. To cut off the excess fabric, if you just take a straight edge razor and use the tree, the edges of the tree as a guide, you will get a nice clean close cut because the fabric has been hardened and stiffened from the Mod Podge. I find that if you try to use scissors, you don't get as close of a cut and you don't get a clean cut as well. So once I got all the fabric cut off, now I'm gonna go in with my white puffy paint, which seems to be another favorite crafting tool that I'm using this Christmas. I'm gonna add some snow to the edges of the trees. It's real easy to do and puffy paint is fairly inexpensive because you can get this bottle, I believe for under $3 at Walmart. And this is the giant size bottle, not the trial size. The trial sizes I think are under a dollar. And so I'm gonna go in on both sides of all three pieces of this tree and I'm gonna add snow. So really it's gonna be six sides that you're adding snow to if that makes any sense. This puffy paint dries pretty quickly and you can pop it in the oven for about five minutes and it'll speed up the drying time. For the trunk of the tree, I'll be using Apple Barrel's Burnt Umber. This is a real nice rustic brown and I'm just gonna paint right over the fabric. I figured it was easier just to cover the whole tree than not to and so you can just paint right over the fabric pretty easily because of the Mod Podge. And again, I'm gonna do the trunk on all six sides of the tree, which is the two halves and the whole. Using some red puffy paint, I figured instead of adding ornaments to this tree, I would add berries. I love the look of berries. I just wasn't really sure if I wanted to use the puffy paint or actually use the foam berries that you can get in the bunches at the Dollar Tree. But when I thought about the overall time and keeping this piece for years to come. I didn't want to worry about the berries falling off and breaking off and replacing them. And so I figured the better way to go was just to add the puffy paint berries because they're not going to come off. And it's still going to give me the look and the character, the dimension, the texture that I'm looking for, for this DIY. And so I'm going to add berries to both sides of all three trees. All three pieces of my tree are done on both sides. All that's left to do is to put this tree together and I cannot wait to show you how stinking cute this looks. I'll be using E6000 to glue my pieces together because I want a real sturdy glue. I don't feel like hot glue is gonna hold this together the way it needs to be held and I don't wanna worry about it breaking apart. So E6000 is the glue for this DIY that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna place some of the E6000 along this inside edge of the half tree. Now, the trick to E6000 is to let it set for a couple minutes, to really let the glue get tacky. If you place your piece as soon as you put the glue on it, it's not gonna be as tacky and hold together as well as if you just let it set for about two or three minutes. The glue will get tacky and then it is easy to place and it will stay in place a lot better. Once I've got my piece in place, I'm just gonna place a bottle here just to hold it up and let this E6000 cure. Once the one side has cured, I'm gonna repeat the process on the other side, only when I place this piece, it's gonna have to be placed in the standing up position, obviously, and again, I'll be using a bottle to hold it in place and in a couple hours, this tree is gonna be done and dry and looking amazing. Because I'm going for that country, rusted, quilted feel, I didn't wanna to top my tree off with a star. If you like the look of a star, by all means, I say do it. That is the best part about DIYing is you take somebody's idea and you make it your own, you put your own twist on it. 
I felt like the perfect topping to this tree would be one of my twine bows. This would not be one of my creations if I did not somehow incorporate twine or burlap into this. And so using Dollar Tree's twine, you can very easily make a thicker bow just by making it about eight strands thick like I did here. And using some hot glue, I'm just gonna place it right here at the top of my tree, finishing off this DIY, giving us a 3D tree. I am loving the look of this tree. After I did the first sheet, I had this idea of taking some of Dollar Tree's moss sheets. An alternative to their moss sheets, because I know a lot of Dollar Trees don't carry them right now, is using this moss roll that you can get at Joann's, Michael's, Walmart for about $10 and I covered the wood plaques with this moss. I felt like this gave it such a real tree feeling. I loved the look of this, and then of course I went in with the red puffy paint and added some berries and topped it off again with a twine bow. What's great about doing these DIYs is that you just take an idea from someone, you make it your own, you put your own twist on it, and with this DIY, it is such a versatile piece because it really can be made to suit any decor style. I think that these trees are such a fun budget friendly piece to add to your decor this Christmas season and what's great about these is we just took a flat Christmas tree and gave it character, gave it dimension, and actually made it a 3D tree for under the price of about $5. How fun is that? It's a different way of using these trees. It's giving you, I guess, a 3D type look, a different look, and I wish that they had these trees in different sizes because it would kind of be fun to have a set of them in different sizes. But for now, I guess we'll just have to be happy with the one size that Dollar Tree has, and I am looking forward to all of the new wood crafts that Dollar Tree will be stocking their shelves with. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody. <laughs>